Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Play Football Manager Season 2, and welcome to the Bolton game. Now, I sh for some reason, um, just skipped all the pre-match stuff, I don't know why. Um, not because I'm trying to shorten the game or anything, it's just because I, was, I just sort of instinctively did it, and just was oh shit, I'm not recording. <laughs> um, well, uh, I haven't missed anything, don't worry, I paused the game. Right, I, I, I click continue, I was like, hang on. <laughs> anyway, the team, 4-4-2, uh, Torres and Carroll, continuing their partnership, Hazard on the left, Adam and Morellas in the uh, middle with Gerard injured, Kalu on the right, um, Carragher, uh, he just decided just to let drop Carragher for a bit, let Skirtle play, and Johnson and Wilson, they're on the, uh, on the left and the right. Uh, the good thing about Carragher though, is, ooh, Carl Ancelotti, um, the good thing about Carragher is that it doesn't really matter if he doesn't play, because he's so loyal to the club, and it, there are players like him, it's called what I... I suppose, you know, there's all other players that have always been in, in the past like that, have always, like Paolo Maldini, very loyal to Milan, uh, sorry, AC Milan, I should say. Um, you know, he, it doesn't matter if he's not playing. Uh, well, obviously, he wants to play, but he's someone who you can play for, you know, or not play, sorry, um, for like 10, 15, 20, maybe even 20 games. And he won't, he won't be displeased, you know, he won't be too bothered. Oh, and Carroll should have done better, I'm sorry, and the game's <laughs> froze. Games absolutely. Oh, there you go. Uh, well, as I say, yeah, Carragher. He 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 is um, he's someone who I can drop occasionally, and will have absolutely no bearing on his personal um, displeasure. He won't voice displeasure. He won't be unhappy or anything. You know, because he you know he he is now you know the, he, as the game goes on as well. Bear in mind, I'm a year ahead now. Um, not so sorry about the frame rate, by the way. Um, you know that. Um, Christ, why the hell is it so laggy? Sorry, one second. Torres, he's going to have to put a good ball across. Kalu, oh, Yaskalan, he should have scored that. But you say, yeah, Carragher, he's like a year older. I think he even he knows that now. It says, you know, he said definitely looking into getting it. What Once it says on, like, the personal profile thing, um, looking into going to coaching or scouting or whatever, um, then that then by then you think you know, okay, maybe they won't be too bothered if I drop them occasionally. Charlie Adam, maybe. Torres, Morelles, 1-0. Good positioning from Morellas, and uh, well, he's fighting, really fighting to get his way back into the team here. Uh, you know, I dropped him obviously Gerard in stupendous form. With Adam doing well, pretty well as well. You know, he hadn't really put a foot wrong, but Morellas there, he's coming up with goals, which is interesting. Which is something Adam isn't doing. Charlie Adam hasn't scored that many goals, but uh, Morellas has now. He's uh, he scored against, I think it was Cluj. I think it might have been Stoke actually. <laughs> Goalkeeper there, no chance. Why well, I can't really pick him out against uh, the Bolton kit. Is he wearing just a regular Bolton kit? <laughs> Ask a line. <laughs> that was a bit weird. Um, but yeah, we'll, we'll do the Champions League draw after this as well, so um, I want to be interested to see. We got, of course, it's a knockout round now, so it's going to be a quick, quicker draw, not like a group stage. Bolton actually on this, um, probably underachieving. Although their team's good and they probably do play well, they're 15th in the league at the moment. And as you said, we're playing on, currently we're playing on the Monday night, so I'll show you the league table currently as it stands at half time. Amarella's strike. Um, don't get complacent. Uh, we'll just before, I'll show the league table. So this is currently as it stands. Obviously with us winning. Uh, we need to catch up. We are still seven points ahead of Arsenal, who won. But I don't know if you caught a glimpse of that. Um, but that's currently as it stands. Carroll now. Ooh, he's getting in. Poor effort from Carroll. This is, what I'm this is why it's interesting to see that why the game actually picked them to be in a team of the week in midfield. Um, similar thing here, but there, there's the league again. You know, catching the goal difference up now. You know, it's getting a bit 14 against is a bit more acceptable. And uh, so I'm pretty happy with that. Come on, you Man United slowly clawing the way up the table. Ah, uh, incredible! It's a potential arm injury this time. Jesus. Oh dear. Thank God Balotelli came back in good time. Um. Oh dear. Um. Yeah. <laughs> So we've got Gerard and Torres injured. Wouldn't you know it? Wouldn't you know it? And ah, oh, to be fair, one of the ah Ericsson, who's their main player, their Torres player, Torres player. <laughs> you, you know what I mean? Like you know, main threat. Uh, we'll throw uh, Luke and Ryan Babylon, and then Hazard can go in the middle. Uh, Joe Cole. Actually, no, sorry, Cout. I think I'll take Cout off for. Carroll, who's also on a yellow card, don't want to risk that. 
There we go. Sorry, I, I don't know why the frame rate's so poor. Um, probably going to be a quicker episode. Actually, no, the Champions League final will flick it on a bit. But, uh, yeah. Long game. <laughs> yeah, so, short game, I should say. Long game. Short game. Uh, be disappointed now, though, if Bolton do get a, a late equaliser here, maybe even a later, even later on, a winner. Come on, Glenn John's got to do better than that. Don't wait for the ball count, but he's kind of let him off that time. Morales has done well. Got the goal. And there's Salomon Kalu now that he can finish the game here if he scores. I know he can't. He just hits it into Yaskalan and yet again, I hate the way the players do that. It's so frustrating. It's like there's only two outcomes in the game that can happen. It's so fucking annoying. Okay, put a good cross in. Nope, nothing. Come on, game. Don't do this to me. <laughs> Especially when you're not when you haven't got your two talisman playing, you know, you got no Gerard and Torres. It's so f annoying and frustrating. I've still got Balotelli. Ooh, that's got to be a yellow card, surely, for Knight. Nothing. Mm. Oh, it's going to... Six! Six minutes of added time. Oh, wow. That's going to even... Oh, wow. Yeah, look at scale. That's going to add even more to it. Oh, for God's sake. I can't wait. Um, so the frame rate's also doing my then. Why the hell are we not closing players down? Oh, there we go. No... Oh. So Skirtle's injury is probably going to add a little bit more time to it. Skirtle's back on the pitch now. So we've got about a minute left, about a minute and a half left. Reina really taking his time. And Bolton seemingly... Oh, Morales got that. Come on now. Get, gotta get forward again. Get. I want to see... Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Well, that's what I want to talk about, getting forward. If we do stupid shit like that, that happens. Look at this. The frame rate. The game is... Just can't keep up. Remember last time, um, Bolton, the Bolton game was the only game... Good defending that has. Uh, Bolton game where actually... The only game last season where I actually had to sort of stop and restart the game because um, with the beaters 8-0 originally I was like what the fuck <laughs> I was just like okay that, that's just not going in that's just plain silly and we're nearly playing 97 minutes nearly come on ref referee on Stuart Holden who I do actually like as a player he's actually a good player American um, short seven, 97 and a half minutes at the time ref fuck's sake <laughs> Referee! Thank you, ref! Raul Morella's goal. Scrappy game, but as always, they are against Bolton. But we got the win in the end. Done well, overall. And look at the... God damn, I hate the way the game does that. The blanks out continue for some reason. That must be a glitch. And uh, we retain our uh, seven-point lead over Arsenal. I'm not sure why the game's rather slow and incredulous today. It's quite annoying. And Ralph Morello is on form, so he's certainly getting his uh, his thing back. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to fast forward it really quick um, to the Champions League final. Uh, not at the Champions League final. <laughs> I'm still recording this on, on the day of the Champions League final. Uh, I'm going to ignore that because they just the, after a while, after you do so many post-match conferences, they all say the same thing. Um, I'm going to fast forward it now to the knockout round draw, and uh, I'll see you on the other side. See you in a moment. And welcome back. So uh, we're just building up to the uh, Aston Villa game, which will be the next uh, episode. As you can see, Michael Lordrop's the manager of Aston Villa now. That's interesting. I don't know enough about that. Well, that'll be for the next episode. Let's view the draw. Now, we could get any of these teams apart from Atletico. Uh, sorry, and the English teams, of course. But let's do it. Let's do the Champions League. It's probably the biggest draw I've had so far. So let's do it. And we're first out. <laughs> no, fine. Um, so, we have, uh, I think that's home first. Yeah, we probably definitely are home first. Who have we got then? In the Champions League, Lyon. Ooh, Madrid. Ooh, we'll play Arsenal. Real Madrid. There, Chateau will play Atletico. Moscow will play Chelsea. Uh, ooh, Inter versus United. Now Inter, as you can see, are the holders. Uh, Milan will play. Oh, look at that. Milan, Barcelona. Ge oh, oh, wow. Um, Gen Genoa. Fucking hell, Genoa versus Werder Bremen. What the hell are they even doing in there? Christ, didn't even know they were in any good. Well, oh, there you go. Look, they've got Prince Boateng and Luca Tony. Wow, Luca Tony plays with them now. My God, actually, not bad. A few other players. I had one. That was the goalkeeper, yeah. Um, so we played Leon. Um, that will be a good game. I am looking forward to that. Have we? I don't think we've played Leon before, have we? I don't recall us playing Leon. That was Marseille, wasn't it, last season, yeah? We, as you can remember, we played French opposition in the Europa League, and we actually won. We uh, won 2-1. Uh, it was a very difficult game. 
but uh, it was a lot. It was good. It was good, and we won, and uh, I, we enjoyed it. I just love looking at. Look at the Chelsea. Look at that. <laughs> But that Chelsea, Chelsea, Blackpool, Chelsea, Bolton, Chelsea, love it. Chelsea, <laughs> playing Chelsea soon, actually, but uh, enough of that. Uh, a few both were not as many as that, like nine days away from Christmas. And the next game, as you can see, is at Anfield against Aston Villa. So I wonder if we can keep this uh, winning run going. Uh, we've won about I think it's like six games in a row now. After a scrappy win against Bolton, I hope you've enjoyed this today, and I will see you next time for the Aston Villa game. So until then, it's a goodbye from me.